former New York City mayor, presidential candidate, leading the field on the GOP, Rudy Giuliani, in New Hampshire, a place that many people feel he can still win. I tracked him down. Let's hear what our conversation was like. We are outdoors on a lovely summer slash fall day at a NASCAR event with the mayor of New York. How does this work out, Mr. Mayor? Well, I just happened to be hanging around in New Hampshire, and I thought I'd come to the NASCAR race here. You know, the numbers say you're trailing in New Hampshire. It's single digits, but you're trailing on most polls. It's early. Can you win here? Sure, absolutely. Mitt Romney used to work right around here. Okay, and I work pretty close here, too. <laughs> and the reality is... Uh, we haven't put in the time that some of the other candidates have here. We are now, and we haven't put anywhere near the money in. I mean, they've put in like five, six, seven million. We've put in one tenth of that. Okay. Nobody gives you this. You got to go out and earn it. You got to work hard for it. I do sometimes ten, twelve events a day. Right. So I don't, I don't expect this is going to happen just because you're heading the polls. Let's talk about one Democrat in particular because you have thought about her and taken action against <laughs> Senator Hillary Clinton, and they have responded. Friday, you came out with an ad because you were upset about MoveOn.org and her. Uh, her decision not to condemn that ad, and then an ad was cut about her differing stances on Iraq. Why? Well, because I think somebody had a call on it, and I, you know, I've always, I've always believed in leadership and like stepping out and make a statement when something wrong happens. I thought the comments she made about General Petraeus were, were, were taking politics beyond even the sort of horrible nature of politics today. MoveOn.org specializes in character assassination. They spend hundreds of millions of dollars. They don't support issues. They attack the character of right. candidates. I thought the attack on General Petraeus was horrible. It's like somebody's got to stand up to it and say, how about we stop at the, at the point of character assassination of an American general right. who's got more uh, medals on his chest than anybody could ever hope to have, a man who's putting his life at risk for his country. Of course you can disagree with him. That's what America's about. But you can't attack his integrity for no reason at all, just because you want to make a political point. And then I thought Hillary Clinton played into that with her comment about willful suspension of disbelief. Then, I, then she played into it some more by not separating herself from MoveOn.org. All these Democrats benefit to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars from MoveOn.org. And they have an obligation to say, enough is enough. You're going too far when you're attacking a general in a time of war. And by pegging out that ad that talks about how she was in support of the war, the senator was in support of the war in 2002, it changed Oh, she's been all over. I mean, if, if there's a position on the war, she's had it. <laughs> she's, been, she's been in one place, another place, another place. You know, she, she doesn't apologize, but it was the wrong vote. But at the time, she had very strong convictions about it. And I mean, if there's a position that you could have taken on this um, terrorist war, Hillary Clinton has taken the position for, against, and in between. How concerned are you today about sleeper cells in this country? I'm very concerned about it. I had a conversation a few months ago with the U.S. attorney in uh, New Jersey who, who uncovered that plot to attack Fort Dix. And he said to me, you know, the, um, these, these sort of uh, people who are inspired by al-Qaeda and inspired by Islamic terrorism and aren't, like, directly connected kind of worried him the most. And now, the Democrats want to cut back on the Patriot Act. They want to cut back on electronic surveillance. They want to cut back on aggressive questioning of, uh, of, of suspects who are involved in, allegedly involved in terrorism. You cut back on all those things, right, and you run and hide in Iraq, you just put this country on defense again. Thomas Jefferson said it first, uh, being the President of the United States is a splendid misery. It involves the daily loss of friends. Why do you want it? We all have to step up and serve in the way that we can. This is what I believe I'm prepared to do from the experience I've had, the way I've been tested, the results I've shown in the past. You know, being in public office has been something I've been doing since I was 24 years old. Right. And, I, and, and I've been able to get results that people never thought were possible. Tomorrow, we took a walk down uh, Victory Lane, and he also talked about two things. Why he's going after Hillary Clinton and not Fred Thompson. Why he's doing that and not Mitt Romney. Why he seems to gain to the polls when he goes after Democrats in particular. And what do you do about Syria getting nuclear weapons? 